Let's keep talking about the sign of faith and among many of its highlights the first impression which is the artwork and the whole artistic concept it's so wonderful it's simple but imposing by the celestial and surrealist it's full of symbolisms, transmit many things that describe perfectly your music, especially in the Sig Danuax Bar video, containing clear reference of Salvador Dali, added to the overwhelming oriental environment. So tell us how all of this turns possible. Do you go with the artist and give the main ideas in some way? Are you included into this process? <laughs> Uh, so actually it was pretty interesting because as we have already had the songs recorded uh, I mean in the demos um, We have found an artwork for the cover. It just suited perfectly and uh, I don't know we thought that we should buy it. So it was already finished uh, Then uh, we needed some merch some t-shirts, you know coming up and we asked another artist, uh, she's a very talented girl, and um, we asked her to make something based on this, um, on this cover, but actually Yevgeny uh, drew the, the sketch of what is now on the t-shirt, so he is double talented, you know, music and art, and um, yeah, and this is the same girl who has uh, who has uh, made the Shaitan Akbar video and um, she is very artistic you know and the best way to treat her is uh, just give her music and tell please do everything you want and the only thing we wanted to to, uh, to avoid is like you know Shaitan Akbar is about um, is against terrorism and we didn't want uh, to see like you know lots of blood and guns all that uh, routine stuff that is associated with terrorism that's why we just said that we don't want to have this in our video and please as for the rest do everything you want and I think that it turned out really great because this video is really surrealistic and uh, terrorism is surrealistic so it's perfect. Races may set and you destroy the others. You're all a place to all fighting in peace. But only you are worthy for this peace. I disagree. I'm gonna walk by. To the music. <laughs> we'll start with the lyrics. We know that you write them all, and the sign of faith speak of faith not only to deities or religions, but also faith to love, union, and homeland. Also cover other different topics, uh, such as Asian cultures, such as Egyptian in Alexandria or mythological legends, as in Petrichor, then. What were your source of inspiration to cover all these topics in this album? <laughs> well, you know, in fact, uh, half of the lyrics were written by Evgeny, so he came up uh, not only with music but with lyrics as well. I just had to, I don't know, bring them uh, to a better condition in terms of grammar. Uh, but uh, yes, yeah, some 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 songs are um, written already with the lyrics. Uh, some of them, uh, Yevgeny knows what the song should be about, and he tells me, and I I just come up with the idea what lyrics should be put there. Sometimes he gives me songs, and I should come up what this song uh, should be about. 
Uh, so I think that both of us are really that much into some epic stuff, including mythology. And I'm personally a lot into philosophy and some, I don't know, moral things and ethics and um, I don't know, the essence of being, all that stuff that you don't really think of in your everyday life. And uh, I do think of it when I listen to music and uh, yeah. I don't know what our future songs will be about, it's always about inspiration that is coming from somewhere and you never know what has inspired you for that. That is the point, you can't just, I don't know, read a book, get inspired and write the lyrics right away. It can, it can hit you up like in a year or so, you will remember about that and write a song. That's, that's how it goes with us. Jahi, it's a great progressive song that really catches my attention. So I'd like to know what's your perception of it is? What can you tell us about the song? Well, actually, uh, Jahi music is um, the, the main theme. Uh, is taken from uh, a Turkish song, the pop song or a ballad, I'm not, I'm not that sure but it's pretty much well known in Turkey and uh, it's just a tiny part of it, the main theme and uh, it, it is really the most complicated and progressive song of ours so far we did not play it that much because it's really complicated to remember, you know, for all the musicians but actually it's one of my favorite uh, songs on the album because uh, it's really different and um, I am proud of the lyrics I wrote for this song because um, they just bring um, an important topic, an important mind and thought that all people, no matter how good they are, they all have shadows, you know, and the darkness is not that bad as, as we think of it. So if you read the lyrics, you will see there that um, Sometimes dark is not necessarily bad. It's just something that we do not see till the end. Yes, and that yeah, and that all the good people have their shadows as well. I'm proud of these lyrics, and I do believe that everyone reads them and sees what we could, we did have to tell with this song. Yeah. And uh, we had our friend record the viola part for this song, which I really do love. It even makes me uh, almost cry in this part, you know, where the tiny viola is played and nothing is in the background. Yeah, it's really cool. You are certainly a fan of books and movies from space and fantasy. These topics predominated in the previous EP and now in The Sign of Faith you gave us a taste of this in How I Hate the Night, the Marvin's lullaby from the books by Douglas Adams. <laughs> so show us this side geek of you. <laughs> For example, what are your favorite movies and books? Well, I do have this geek side, I must say, and uh, for example, my uh, favorite book is uh, Do Androids Dream of Electric Ship? Uh, and uh, yes, this is the basis for the Blade Runner movie, and I love uh, the space-themed movies. And uh, when we were uh, making this EP, Sputnik, uh, it was based mostly on the space movies like John Carter and uh, the Pioneer One series. And I like the gigs of the, I, the technology, you know, the, uh, I like, for example, the Silicon Valley series. I like the, everything that is connected to technology is, is inspiring me. So that is something that coexists in me, you know. I love nature and I love something urban, 
I like、uh, technology and I like mythology at the same time, and the coexistence of it is the most most inspiring for me. I even have a tattoo on my back of a woman、um, that is was painted by Giger, who created、uh, these.、Um, All the sets for the、uh, Alien movie and the Prometheus movie, and、um, she is surrounded by flowers and electronic schemes. So you see, it exists on my back as well. And as for the "How I Hate the Night" song, it was purely created by Yevgeny, and it was his idea to take these lyrics、uh, of the of Marvin and.、Uh, And create this song. I really like it very much. Things on the album is the song "The Byantan" cover of Ultra Sheriff. I honestly didn't expect to find me with that at finishing the album, and I didn't know the artist, so I searched the original song, and I liked yours more for a long way. <laughs> so tell us the story behind this cover. I mean, what led you to make a cover of this song? Well, actually, we didn't know the artist either. But、um, but once、uh, we were searching for Leviathan song because my cat is called Leviathan and is actually sleeping right over there. Yeah, he's sleeping, and that's a drum set below him. So we were searching for a song called Leviathan. I don't remember for which purpose. And we found this song, and Yevgeny thought it might be really cool to make a metal cover for it. And this is how this cover was born, and we really take it. We really enjoy it when we play it, and it is now,、um, it is now a part of our live set, always, you know. But the difference is that I grow there when we play it live. Now I am going to ask what I've been waiting for throughout the whole interview. <laughs> It's about the new material of Ignia. <laughs> How much do we have to wait to hear some new material from you? What kind of things can we expect? New album, new single, maybe some. Band soon, <laughs> and about all of this, did you already have some new material ready to record? <laughs> well, actually, next week I'm heading to the studio to record vocals to our new song, and、uh, on February twenty second we are going to shoot a video, a proper video for this new song. And、um, that would be much it for for the nearest time, because we would like to make another album, another long、uh, play album. But it really requires lots of time and lots of money, and、uh, that is why we want to make it more properly. We already have lots of、uh, demos. Uh, and they just need to be finished, you know, because most of them are without vocals and without lyrics, and I've got lots of things to do <laughs> on them. But anyways, the shootings for the new video will be、uh, on February twenty second, and I don't know how much the post production will take, but I really do hope that spring will be. Will be a surprise for you because it will be a new release, and I can't wait to share it with you. Really. 
about the new material I've seen on your YouTube channel, a set of vlogs in one of which there is a mystery song that is in fact glorious and demolishing. Really, it has a riff of guitars too insane. I'll show you. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, in this wait, in this set list <laughs> that you can listen to me, which of this is it? Maybe Queen Dice? Can you see? Yes, Queen Dice or this, which I can't pronounce the name. Uh, uh, Ufenum. Phenomen of uh, <laughs> I don't really know. <laughs> well, when I say that. <laughs> now it's not Queen Dice, and uh, I cannot tell you in any case, so please wait for it with everyone else. But Queen Dice will be one of the newest songs, together with the one you cannot read. <laughs> Now, something that intrigues me a lot is the style Ignea will take in future works because I expected to hear in The Sign of Faith something with more elements of Sputnik EP with that techno, disco, electro, space wave <laughs> and I found with something different but just as good as the Eastern spirit is so which of these two phases of you do you plan to develop or which are you most interested in now? <laughs> well, my first thought would be why not both, you know? Uh, those are two phases that can pretty much coexist with each other. And uh, I really cannot tell at the moment, but we will obviously keep the oriental melodies uh, in our upcoming songs. But at the same time, we will have some uh, synthesizers, you know, and electro stuff as well. Because it makes, in our, in our beliefs, it makes metal more interesting and more diverse. Although some old school guys tell that it sounds like pop shit, you know. But we don't care because as long as we love it, we will do it. Yeah. I, I, I would say that um, there will be more brutalism in our songs. I mean... Uh, that we won't avoid the extreme vocals and they will be equal to the clean vocals as we develop the songs. Yeah. Well, ending. <laughs> we haven't seen Ignia very included in the female fronted scene. <laughs> so, what do you think about the female metal scene? or female fronted <laughs> and this term as such you know there is a debate around it some even say that it's wrong to talk it that way that is sexist and all of that what do you think about all of this? <laughs> well it's pretty controversial because I don't like us to be called female fronted band because like it seems like the only advantage we've got is that i'm a female singer and that's all i don't think it's as sexist um the sexist thing but um i think you should look at what is interesting about the music as a whole not the sex of the singer uh at the same time as a marketing specialist I do make advertising on Facebook, for example, and if I want to describe our music to somebody, 
I can refer to the words female fronted because that is how people would understand it uh, from from a few words, you know. And uh, there are lots of uh, uh, communities that do love female fronted bands and female vocals, and I can do nothing about that. And I think that um, the thing is that we're not speaking about male fronted male fronted bands or male fronted uh, metal scene is more sexist than female fronted metal and i just i just hope that we will have all that in common and that these words will be eliminated but i will keep using them in advertising because because it works, it really works. If people love the female vocals in metal, they would probably love what we do, and I, I have nothing to do with that. <laughs> Sorry. Fortunately, we have already finished hell. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, do you have something to add, or maybe do you want to say something to your Spanish-speaking and Latin American fans? <laughs> or maybe can you give us hope that someday Ignia will play here? <laughs> Rilas, please. Rilas. <laughs> Just kidding. Well, so long, so long, so long, so long, and thanks for all the fish. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Well, you sing pretty much good, you should be singing. Do you have a band, by the way? Um, as, um, as for my final words for this interview, I really do appreciate that we have so many uh, fans out there in the Spanish-speaking community in Latin America, and I really wish I could pack all, the, all my stuff and come to you right now with all my guys from Igna, but it's really, really complicated because we need lots of money to come to you, or we need, um, or we need even more fans so that the promoters will think, okay, it will be uh, commercially, commercially beneficial to bring Igna to another side of the planet. Uh, that is why. All I can say and promise is that we will do all our best to create the best music that you will like even more and uh, produce it as much as we can and uh, tour in the European Union and uh, so that everyone could see that we can do it, we can rock the stage and uh, yeah, we will one day come to see you all guys and hug you and give you high fives and headbang with you and all this stuff meanwhile the only thing we want to ask you please share our music with everyone even if it's your mom or your dog i don't know with everyone because that is what can bring us to you and uh we are okay if some people won't like our music because it's a very subjective thing but at least simply please share it with everyone and we do love you here on another continent yeah thank you for having for having this interview with me Bueno amigos de Dark Metal Divas, muchísimas gracias por ver el video hasta el final realmente. Les recuerdo que pueden suscribirse al canal de Dark Metal Divas aquí abajo. También pueden seguirnos en redes sociales como Instagram y Facebook, que en Facebook es nuestro núcleo, por decirlo de alguna forma. También pueden suscribirse a mi canal que se llama Inmanucifer en Isa, se los voy a escribir, ahí hago... Lyrics videos de bandas como Ignea <ríe> Y están muy bonitos, la verdad <ríe> No es por soplarme mi propia trompeta Pero sí están muy bonitos <ríe> Y bueno, adiós, que estén bien <ríe> Y recuerden que viva el Metalio <ríe> Sobre todo el hecho por mujeres, eh <ríe>